Hello, Earth Signs. It's Lulu. And today I'm going to do your Mudra reading for the first week of December. Thank you. Thank you for your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments. Thank you for your love and support. Thank you. Any information that you need is in the description box. Yes. Excuse me. Now. Of course, this will not apply to everyone, but you can use the mudra. Thank you. All right. Angels, what do you have for the earth signs for the second week of December? Okay. <laughs> Ooh, and it's green. Don't y'all like green? Thank you. Now, inner guidance. All right. So, hmm. When it comes to inner guidance, first of all, the heart is the voice of the soul, right? So some of you may be really getting in tune with um, your softer side. Is what I feel. Um, there's a need here to clear and cleanse the heart chakra, most likely. I also feel that there's a situation in your life that really needs to uh, be seen through, right? You really need to see something through in order for it to be um, healed and released and transmuted into whatever it needs to be in order for you to move forward. <clears throat> you may have to come face to face with someone to um, hear them out or them hear you out as well. Um, this may even be um, getting your, um, following your heart in a certain situation even though um, in the past, okay, even though in the past you may have done things from a more logical standpoint, leaving the heart out of a certain situation, like the heart and the mind were separate here. So you are moving forward in a different, uh, from a different space this week. There may be a lot of communicating this week when it comes to um, finances, your home life, or even um, someone, maybe a child. <clears throat> But there's a different way of looking at things, and you have to be a little softer is what they're saying. You may have to uh, pull away from work or um, be called from work and at first feel kind of um, like you can't believe this. Just feelings of I cannot believe that I had to leave work for this or I cannot believe they did this to me. or It's something like you can't believe this, but then you realize that everything happens as it should. Um, there's some type of clarity coming when it comes to matters of the heart. Some of you may not have been in tune with your emotions in a certain situation, and all of a sudden, um, you're like a big old teddy bear. Earth sign. Here. Any chest issues that you may have had, you want to uh, see um, a healthcare professional, but also you want to look up the spiritual meaning of that because some of you may be holding on to some grudges. Some of you may be holding on to... Um, there may be some grief that some things that some things you put behind you that you weren't ready to deal with. And this is going to be the week to start dealing with it. However long that take. Right. Because it depends on how deep the wound is on how long it will take for it to heal as well as are you applying yourself to the healing? OK. Now, I do feel that um, many of you may. Um, so you may you may want to even wear green this week if you can green somewhere from the belly up. Here <clears throat> to bring in more of this love energy, this heart energy, this um, this letting people know or letting even yourself know, because it's, it's overall it's your personal experience, your personal perspective when it comes to this healing. But you're letting yourself know that everything is okay. Some of you may even need to get back out into nature, or you may be um, putting adding more greens to your diet this week in order for you to really um, cleanse yourself of a lot of energy that no longer serves you when it comes to clearing out the heart. Some of you may even be um, having some type of checkup this week and changing the way that you do things because of some type of plaque buildup on the heart. I also feel... <clears throat> That um, if you've been having any issues with your rotor cup or your um, upper back, <clears throat> you want to also look up the spiritual meaning of that and see how that reflects in your life and how you can uh, change your affirmations to help you in a way in which um, will help you heal as well. Now, I also feel with this card that um, 
there's some apologies that need to take place this week overall. Whether you are apologizing to yourself, which you should, you should apologize to yourself and others. Um, see things from that perspective in order for you to continuously heal because the more work that you do on yourself, you are changing in your outer world as well. I also feel that when it comes to investments, if it doesn't feel right, don't do it. But if it feels right and you also have the logic to back up, what it feels like, then um, they're saying to go for it as well because whatever it is that is coming in your future, um, this week is going to um, have such an impact on that you know, to the point where you want to be sure that you made the right decision and try not to have too many regrets. Regrets are hard not to uh, come by, but we get them. Mm -hmm. But overall, uh, follow your heart. Open your heart to greater love as well. Uh, some of you may be entertaining someone or have someone in a friend zone that you are looking at them differently this week, right? And the way the energy works, we need to talk about it eventually, but the way the energy works, even if this isn't your situation right now, it may be something that you go through in the future. depends on where you are in your life. Um, because I do understand that many people are like, oh, I'm, I already got past that. Whoop, 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 then shit come back up. Moving forward in a different way. Moving forward. I also feel that um, some of you may have been hiding your feelings from someone. And you're going to get a huge shock. You are not going to believe yourself. Like, what the hell? I cannot believe that I like this person like that. Motherfucker. Move forward. I, I like this person like that. Oh, I can't believe that. Like, there's something that you may be attending, and uh, you it's not something that you usually go to or do, and then you're going to come into this space where, wow, I didn't think I would enjoy myself, and I did. And it's going to have you look at things differently. Your stability, your structure, it's about working together and having that contentment by the end of the week. You will really um, be doing some delegating, um, learning to set boundaries and know how to tell people no from a loving space. So moving forward, this is inner guidance. Inner guidance is insight, self-compassion, and safety. It benefits your heart and respiratory system. It releases tension in the chest and ribs. It assists the immune system, cultivates trust in inner knowledge. Now you'll hold your hands like this over your heart. Relax your shoulders and lengthen your spine. Your affirmation is, I listen openly and honor the voice of my heart. I listen openly and honor the voice of my heart. So if you've been having any type of issues with your breathing as well, or having any type of issues where you are not sick, but you're coughing up, phlegm, the phlegm is, okay? And if the doctors tell you, we don't know what's going on, you're just spitting up, well, okay? You're releasing yourself, you're cleansing yourself without even knowing it, right? Um, they're also saying that there, if there's anything to do with, um, the positioning of the way that you sleep, you want to go ahead and be mindful of that as well. Because what I'm really getting is that if you're lying on your back and wake up tired, stop laying on your back. I don't lay on my back no more. Because I'm still a bit here and there. Okay? So I don't lay on my back no more. Earth signs. They're also telling me here that um, if you, um, like, okay. So you may be uh, waking up um, also um, uh, feeling congested, but there's nothing going on, right? This may be because you're li lying on your side for some reason, what have you. Many of you may even want to make sure that um, you get x-rays on your lungs. I feel it may be very important or you're going to get x-rays on your lungs and uh, there's going to be a change in your environment or you're deciding to change your environment in order for you to um, live a healthier life. So that's what I have for you, Erstein, because if I don't stop now, what? What? But I love y'all. 